Mob of villagers, come gather around. Let's see what's inside the horror pack for January 2019. Inside this small plastic bag, it almost seems as if it could be the shape of a DVD. Let me correct you on that. Well, actually, that, that, that is true. It could be a DVD or a Blu-ray, depending on what your medium is. But every single month, Horror Pack delivers to you, the horror viewers, a collection of horror titles. Four, to be exact. Four little piggies. Wink, 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 minus the thumb. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up, see what's inside, and pull out each title as we normally do on this channel. And again, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Horror Pack, I'll put the link down below. Let's grab the Kniffy Knifey. Let's grab Old Red. And we'll go ahead and cut the plastic just on the side, just enough that we don't know what's necessarily inside but that this humbled reviewer can still reach inside and pull out the individual titles. I got myself Blu-rays. I'm sure you guys know that from the frequent viewings of these postings, these uploadings. But let's go ahead, pull out each title, discuss it, digest it, and move on to the next title. So inside the month of January's bag, we've got ourselves Dylan Dog. Dylan Dog. Never heard of it. Brandon Routh, Dylan Dog, Dead of Night. Well, I see there's a bunch of zombies in the background here. Examining further, it says apparently it's full of action, comedy, snippy one-liners, and some heavy-duty monster fright. That seems promising. Brandon Routh stars as Dylan Dog, a supernatural detective who will go where the living dare not, facing friend and foe alike in the monster-infested back streets of New Orleans. Armed with an edgy wit and an arsenal of silver and wood-tipped bullets, Dylan must solve a series of murders before an epic war ensues between his werewolf vampire and zombie clients. Based on one of the world's most popular comic books, never heard of it, this inventive horror comedy will slay you with the tongue-in-cheek humor and genuine frights. I would think it'd be safe to say that this movie never came out to theaters, Somebody will probably tell me, well, it was in theaters, probably, well, back in 2011, maybe it was only in theaters for about five days. Five days, piggy with the thummy. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, it's 108 minutes. I don't see any other bonus features. It comes also in Spanish, if you want to, well, Spanish subtitles. Never heard of it. Dylan Dog, Dead of Night, Brandon Routh. Still trying to find, I think, his footing from not being Superman anymore. I know he's in the Le Legends of Tomorrow. I, not, not my thing. Not my thing. No interest in that. What do we got here? A double dipping. A double dipping. Scream Queen double feature. The original Fog. Love that. And The Howling. Love that too. Very nice. Starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Adrian Barbeau, Janet Lee, and D. Wallace. Very, very cool. I've never seen a double dipping like this. Have you? On the back, of course, there's two various read-ups. The Scream Queen double feature features for the fog the sleepy seaside village of Antonio Bay. He's about to learn the true meaning of the word vengeance. But a seemingly perfect town masks a guilty secret. A past steeped in greed and murder. Exactly 100 years ago, a ship was horribly wrecked under a mysterious circumstance in a thick, eerie fog now shrouded in darkness. The long-dead mariners have returned from their watery grave to exact a bloody revenge. Now, I don't see any bonus features here. It gives you the running time, but other than that, above and beyond that, nothing. The Howling. Severely shaken after a near-fatal encounter with a serial killer, TV newscaster Karen White, played by Dee Wallace of E.T., a extraterrestrial, takes some much-needed time off, hoping to conquer her inner demons. She heads for the colony, a secluded retreat where her new neighbors are just a tad too eager to make her feel at home. But there seems to be a bizarre link between her would-be attacker and this supposedly safe haven. 
and when after nights of being tormented by savage shrieks and unearthly cries, Karen ventures into the forest to find answers, she makes a terrifying discovery. Ironically enough, both The Fog and Howling were both released in 1980. Coincidence? I don't think so. By the way, the dismal uh, Fog remake. Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Who liked the original, the remake of Fog? Let me know down below. We also have Behind the Walls, starring Vanessa Angel, Hutch Dano, Reggie Lee, Lou Temple, and Bailey Spree. It says down below, it has been waiting. What has been waiting? Let's look at the back. Years it waited, now someone's moved in. Through the eyes of the evil within, we witness a broken family desperately seeking a new beginning in their new home. But this house lives, watches, and wants them to stay forever. This one was released in 2018. Runtime is 91 minutes. Special features include storyboards, featurettes, VFX featurettes, theatrical trailer, teaser trailer, and composing close, EPK. Whatever that is. This also looks to be the horror pack uh, inclusion for this, this go around this month. And last but certainly not least, let's see what we've got inside here. We have the Antoning. The Antoning. The Atoning? The Atoning. I don't know. It's a film by Michael Williams, whatever it is. Let's have a look on the back. Uh, Vera. Ray and Sam, a seemingly normal family, are haunted by more than mere ghosts. The lingering horror of their past threatens their ability to function as a loving family, until they become enlightened by a mystical encounter. From that moment on, they're thrust into a horror worse than they've ever experienced. Personal demons manifest and tear the family apart from the inside out as they come to terms with their past. Apparently this movie, despite my inability to pronounce it, won Best Feature Film. How about that? The Festival 2017. The Azalee Film Festival 2017. Also first place feature film at the Tapelo Film Festival 2017. Winner Best Actress Virginia Newcomb Festival South Film Expo 2017. And winner Best Cinematography at Festival South Film Expo 2017. It is a release date of 2017 with a runtime of 89 minutes. 89 minutes. That's a pretty easy to digest runtime. The atoning? The atoning. E toning. It could be toning. Maybe the A is silent. I don't think the A is silent. But let's have a look at the titles that we got inside the horror pack for January 2019. We'll work our way backwards here. We got the atoning. Behind the Walls seems two interesting covers. Gonna dabble into those. A double feature, so really, four piggies have become five piggies with a little thumb. We've got five movies technically if you count the double feature. And then we also got Dylan Dog. Never heard of it. I'm sure many people haven't heard of it. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the horror pack, you may will may likely very guaranteedly missed out on the 2019 for January, but it's not to say that you can't get on board this for February 2019. So if you guys are fans of horror, subscribe to the Horror Pack. And every single month, like I said, you can get DVDs or you can get Blu-rays. And you get four of them. Four piggies! Oink, 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 oink. Uh, today we were having a look at the Horror Pack for January 2019. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos are going to be coming soon to this channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.